Hello everybody, this is Phony Till Bobbin here, and welcome to Euro Train Simulator. That's right, we are starting a brand new series today. Uh, now that Trinity BTS 2 has come to its conclusion, it is time for a brand new game to make it stay be here on the channel. And we're starting off with Euro Train Simulator. Yeah! So we're going to be driving lots of European trains instead of the usual Japanese trains that we'll be driving over in Trinity BTS. Um, so what is Euro Train Simulator then? Well, it's a, it's a app on the, uh, on the Apple App Store. Uh, I'm not sure if it's available on Android, although it might be, as this app isn't quite as technical. I don't know, though. You guys on... If, if, there's any, if there's any Android users watching, you'll have to let me know. Uh, but welcome to Train Simulator, then. Um, now, this is a game that I played way back in the day, briefly. I didn't play very much, though, because I didn't think it was that good. Um, but I figured, you know what, let's play something else. Um, first time since the sort of reboot of, of me making all these mobile game videos... Uh, first time that we are playing something outside the realm of trains or train of ATS. We're stepping into something all new, Euro Train Simulator. So, here it is, the first episode of many. We'll be doing lots of scenarios, so let's see what's in this game to start with. So, first up, we have the career mode. Um, our apparently we're starting out in Spain, which is kind of weird because the trains look a lot more German. Although, oh, that's interesting. Okay, I thought we were starting, oh, okay, <laughs> that's strange. I thought we were starting off in Germany, but no, we're starting off in Spain. Then we have Germany, uh, which we can't do yet because I believe... Oh, actually, it says complete tensionism tier 1 to unlock tier 2. I'm guessing that is... I see, so there's three different tiers. Okay. Uh, then we have the quick mode, which I'm guessing is like a sort of a free drive mode or something. So here is the... Uh, I guess this is the train that we're going to be driving to start with. This is the... Uh, I believe this is part of the Siemens Valero series. It's basically the same as the ICE-1. Or not ICE-1. ICE-3, I mean. Uh, but this is the... Uh, version that runs for Renfe, which is the, or Ave Renfe, which is the primary high-speed rail carrier of Spain. So we're going to be driving some Spanish trains today. And here is one, which is said Euro. I think that's because they haven't got the licensing, so interesting. Okay, then we got more trains. Uh, okay, I think we have to download them to start with them. There's a bunch of French trains, and then there's even a Russian train. So there's 12 different trains here. So I'm guessing what we can do is that we can select a train and then drive it wherever we want or something like that. I don't think we can do that just yet. Uh, now here are the store. And I guess you can also purchase these. So I guess if you don't want to play through all the scenarios, you can just pay for the content. Although I don't know why you want to do that. We can just easily just play through all the things. Let's also remove advertisement. Okay, I guess we'll see if that becomes annoying. I may cut that from the video if that becomes annoying. And finally, we have options. This is just kind of standard stuff. Uh, I guess we'll leave the speed in Columbus Park since this is in Europe. Um, not sure what else to change here. Camera. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I haven't actually done. I haven't actually gone into a uh, scenario yet um, in this game since uh, doing this. So I think we'll just set over to career. And I believe this is where we'll be spending pretty much most of our time here in this game, uh, career mode. So let's start off with tier number one, which is Spain, which is a route that goes between Madrid and Barcelona. I like how there's also the German route that goes between Munich and Augsburg. I'm actually familiar with that route, with it being in Train Simulator Classic as well as Train Sim World. Uh, but we're starting off in Spain, which is, I feel like, it's a country that is a bit underrepresented underrepresented here in, in the world of Train Sims. Okay, it also looks like that we have three different scenarios that are unlocked already right off the bat uh but there are 15 scenarios total and i think it basically works the same way as training bts where we just play through each scenario but of course we still have the first three scenarios unlocked but we're gonna play through all the scenarios anyway so i think that's everything to be explained here so let's jump into the first scenario in euro train simulator before we get started be sure to take out my fiber gig link is in the description All right, here we are. Press the button, open the doors. Ooh, okay. And ah, that's how we do the doors. Okay. And push the lever to move the train. All right. Reverse train if we miss the station. Wait. There we go. 
In that case, we missed station, then yeah. All the controls are inverted. In inverted? Inverted. <laughs> Alright, where's the chase camera? Here we go. Okay, now the cameras are weird. Overspeeding. Uh oh. Okay. There we go. Oh, there's the uh, other train. No, oh, come on. Okay, can't seem to view or zoom in or out unless I'm not doing the things. Oh, that's just doing that with the app. Okay. All right, let's do the horn. Sounds terrible. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, here we are then. Let's pick up some speed then. Reaching the next station on time. Yep. Oh, I see. We have a uh, we have a time limit. Okay, we have to get into the next station at in um in twenty four seconds. Okay. All right, here we are in Spain. Man, this is a weird game. All right. Yeah, first time playing this in, like, ever. So, yeah. All right, next up is Catalonia. I think that's Catalonia. All right. And we're actually running late to the station. How many more cameras do we have? Oh, okay. Not stop being a single result of. Oh. Oh, so the stream will distance less than 50. Wow, it's like. Okay. I see what you want me to do here. Okay. Scenario complete. Okay, that's it. Alright. That was fast. Alright, what we get? Uh, 120 XP. Okay, no idea if that's good or not. Also, we have an ad coming up, so I'll have to cut that from the video. Oh, never mind. I think the ads are broken. Well, good. I like broken ads. <laughs> Alright, uh, very short scenario there. Okay. Uh, well, we did that one, so I guess move on to scenario number two then. We're revving the, uh, the duck train. Uh, where's the train? No, nope, we have an invisible train. Okay. All right, let's go. There we go. All right, now we're driving the other uh, duck bill. Headlights don't seem to work properly. All right, this is AI trains. Well, I guess this is supposed to be Spain, and um. Can't seem to zoom in and out of this chase camera. You're just kind of just fit. Oh, it's going to go another 72. What the heck? Okay. All right. Well, there we go. Driving some Spanish trains and, well, Spanish high speed trains, I should say. Fun fact this train uh, is actually over, also, is also over in the uh, trains uh, mobile thing. There's, oh, that's the Russian train. Oops. Oh, didn't expect to see that. Okay. <laughs> We got some Russian trains. Yes. Are you Russian? <laughs> oh, there's another one. Hello there. Oh, apparently we're speeding by. Uh oh. Okay, they don't tell you where this when the speed limits change. Um. Or do they? Am I just not seeing it? Okay, we're arriving at the station. We're having to go at the pace of a snail. And this throttle system seems to work in the same way as, um, as, uh, trains, trains bang, train simulator, or train simulator. Okay. Oh, another one. <laughs> Alright, those are some really quick scenarios. Okay. Alright, how do we do? Three penalties, but we still got to level two. Alright. Alright. 
Okay, so it seems the ads are actually broken in this game when there are none that are playing. Uh, which is fine by me because, uh, well, who likes ads? All right, back to Luxor number four and five. Okay, not bad. All right. I guess we'll do scenario number three next. Some really quick scenarios. Uh, some really quick scenarios. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, first episode, some sort of getting used to this format. So this video seems a little bit... Um, if this video seems a little bit all over the place... Yeah. All right, now we're back in this guy. Okay, you can't zoom in or out or something. It's just kind of in this fixed view. This is another one. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, the speed limit warning's up on the on the top of the screen. Okay, I see. I see that yeah, this works now. Okay. Well, here it is then. Euro train simulator. It's uh, it's Euro, all right. <laughs> I tell you what, there's only there's fifth. Well, there's fifteen scenarios, but they're all very short. Like there's just these. Not, you could probably play all these scenarios within like an hour or something. Now, of course, we won't do all of them in this episode. I will save some for the next one. In fact, this video is probably going to be. Oh, I'm going to try to keep it short, about twenty minutes. Um, but yeah, first episode of the series, I'm just kind of just getting all my bearings in and trying to figure everything out, everything, so yeah, this video seems a little bit all over the place, because I have no idea what I'm doing, and, yep, okay. Alright, I just realized how, what the telling is, although they don't, they don't tell you quickly enough, though, like, what the next speed limit is. I tell you what, the graphics of this game are surely interesting. Do I keep seeing that Russian train here? This is Spain. Pretty sure that that Russian train doesn't run in Spain. It's only in Russia. Oh, I can. Are so both of the doors? Late arrival. Okay. Oh, is this our first one with multiple stops? I think so. Okay, well, that's the passengers picked up. Ooh, 150. All right, I get it some speed. I like speed. Okay, maybe man, maybe the beginning sentence is just shorter. They, they might get longer from here from here on out. So we'll see. Nope, oh, over speeding again. Nope. Wait, no, speed is going to turn. Yes. Now I'm about to go fast. Yes. Speedy train. <laughs> like how curvy the track is. Oh, is that a red? Is that a yellow signal? So with the world over driving, it definitely looks interesting. <laughs> it's kind of rubbish, maybe. Okay, cool. 100 percent throttle is exactly 150 kilometers per hour. Okay, it's actually 149, but who cares about that? Is it going on a 90? Okay, it doesn't tell you to the last minute what the speed limit or what the new speed limit is. So you just kind of have to just. Oh, wait, is that a red signal? Um. Oh, but the next speed. Oh, okay, the next station's right here though. What the heck is this? I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, this game doesn't look very good. It's also not very well made. Um. Yeah. But it's your train simulator. Alright, I overshot the space space just a little bit, but that's fine. And scenario completed. Alright. Okay, only 20 penalties this time, but it's still got a good score. Up to level 3. Alright. Okay, let's see how long the video is getting. All right, we'll do one more scenario, and then I think that'll be it for this video. So let's move on to scenario number four. Only one stop. It looks like we got a bit of uh, driving in rain this time. All right, let's do this. Yes. All right, first driving 
or a person driving in rainy weather. Yes. All right. Okay, speed limit goes up to, well, currently 60, but goes up to 150. Yes. Give me some speed. All right, so you can get up to some good speed here on this, uh, on this line. There's a Russian train again. Not sure why we keep seeing that Russian train here in Spain, but okay, I guess. But yeah, these scenarios are all really short, so... Um... I may do one more after this. We'll see. Well, this will definitely... Wait, oh no! Oh. Broke signal. Um. Wait, are we good? Oh. Um. Hmm. Okay, well, we just ran our first light, red, first red light here in Euro Train Simulator, and, uh. Um. Oh, this is the same route that we just did. Yeah, okay, we're kind of going on the same routes now. Hmm. Well, uh, here we are back again. That was really quick. Oh, that's the on time? Uh-oh. That's not our worst performance yet. Oh, I think I have to reverse slightly. There we go. Okay, that wasn't my best performance, I must be honest. What's gonna be the score for that one? Or what's the penalty for this one? Uh, I still got a decent score, okay. All right, for level four, okay. Um, okay, that last round was a lot shorter than I thought, so. Okay, I guess this will be the last one. Scenario number five. Okay, I guess you know there's also no time for how to for how long they're gonna keep the doors open. I've noticed, so you, I guess you just kind of just yeah. That's a different horn. That's the one for this guy back in the uh, the duck bill. I'm not sure what the actual like class of these Spanish moves are because they're. Um, Name conventions are a bit different, and I haven't exactly memorized them. Oh, now we're leaving the station. Okay. Alright, well, now we're driving at night. Okay. Alright, yeah, this will in fact be the last scenario for this video. So, yeah. Nice that we got a game, though, with some shorter scenarios. You know, the scenarios over in Train Simulator and Train of ATS can get pretty long, and I mean, I like long scenarios. Don't get me wrong. I do think that long, longer scenarios are better than shorter ones. No, most of the, well, most of the time. Uh, but sometimes I just want to just go for a drive, just really quickly, and then just kind of take a break. By the way, we've driven on this route like oh, another red. Uh oh. Uh, we're gonna stop in time. Yeah, I think so. Wait, hang on. No, are we? Uh, it's gonna be close. Ah, we stopped in time. Okay. Wait for green light. Alright. Got a bit of red light action. Nice. Here comes the, uh, suspend Russian train again. Still don't know why that's just here in Spain, but okay. Euro. <laughs> Look, it just says Euro rather than, you know, Ave, which is the brand that this train is supposed to be. Look at the next speed limit is 120. Also, I just realized that they uh, gave us one second left to get to the station. Oh. Okay, we're going to be a little bit behind schedule, but... Isn't that typical for Spanish railways? 
Alright, here we are. No, uh, I always hit the platform. Eh, hang on. Ooh, right, no. Uh, again. Okay, here we go. Reach Kadaluyid. Oh, we got a... That was an intermediate stop. Okay. I think I can't even see your train now. Now, there are animated people. Actually, there's a mix of animated people and just 2D people. All right. Okay, turns out that was an intermediate stage stop. All right, let's keep... Oops. Try to go back into forward mode. There we go. All right, cool. Speed is going up to 120. Yes. All right, split up the speed. So, what do you guys uh, think so far of Euro Train Simulator? Oops, speeding. I think it's okay, I guess. It's not really that realistic. And I do. Oh, we got another red light. And I do think that there are better train simulators out there. But I guess if you want to drive some other trains that you wouldn't be able to drive into another mobile games, I guess this is fine. I mean, you do have the, some Ave trains, which are, you know. We don't really have those. Actually, uh, really, if you want to drive like proper Spanish trains here on, on like a mobile train simulator, your best bet is to get the Iberia Interior add on for Train Simulator 2. But this one offers a uh, alternative. Let's get away for the green light. Hmm. Wonder what's the reason for the red. Is there a train in front of us or what? Hmm. Well, here we are at nighttime then. So we're doing pretty much the standard daytime, yeah. I tell you what, this this doesn't really look much like Spain though. Like I imagine Spain to be sort of like a deserty sort of place. This 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 representation here is a lot more green. A lot more greenery going on. Yeah. Oh yeah, one other one I guess one other thing I might as well point out about your train smooth, the consists are unrealistically short. Um yeah, like this train I'm driving has about pff, at least twice as many cars, maybe more than that. Yeah, they're, they're longer than this. Oh, is that a train we have? Oh, that's the that's not the duckbill train. Go there. That one only has three coaches. Wait, we have he's got three, we got five. Okay. But yeah, they're not that short. Oh, there's thank you to the again, although we are also running late. Hmm, okay. So I'm gonna have to try to figure out what like how the point system works in this game because like how many points do you lose for speeding versus how many points do you lose for getting there late? All I realize is they were at 100, wait, negative 15 seconds slow, but we had the red light though. Am I supposed to do something about that? <laughs> Am I supposed to just skip the red lights or what? Look how there's a uh, British guy on the speaker system. And here we are. <laughs> I wonder what would, happen, what would happen in this game if I crashed with the buffers. Oh, the local was not separating from the thing. Oh, and the trains disappeared. Yay! Sorry, completed. All right. That's Madrid. Is this from Madrid to where, where we were at before? Hang on. Let's see. And there we go. Yeah, Madrid to Barcelona. I guess... Te I mean, technically, Catalonia is in Barcelona, so... I don't know. <laughs> well, maybe we'll see more of it next. Oh, so I just realized I like how the Spain one actually has like German trains and not the trains that we actually drove today. So, I don't know. Well, that's the first five scenarios completed then. So, we're already one third of the way there, and this is only the first episode. Okay, well, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in whatever I make next.